Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are welcome to this episode of Church in Your House. <clears throat> Father Lord, thank you for another glorious moment to learn under your feet. We appreciate you, Lord. You teach us that which you want us to know today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We want to continue our study of uh, on the cross of Jesus. We're talking about the cross of Jesus. And uh, where we are now, we're talking about the birth of Jesus Christ. How the angel came to Mary. And today we want to look at Matthew chapter 1, verse 18 and 19. Matthew chapter 1, 18 and 19. The Bible says, Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was exposed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. Wow. I have read this place several times, and uh, I put myself in the position of Joseph, and <laughs> uh, I'm not happy to say that I, I, I fail each time I do that. To be sincere, the person you have, so to say, paid the dowry, you're just waiting for the open ceremony so that she will move and come and be your wife. You've done what you needed to, uh, to do. And suddenly she came around and said, I'm pregnant by the Holy Ghost. Which story book is that? So, but the Bible has this to say concerning Joseph, which is very, very touchy. And uh, you see the reason why God chose him to be the father of Jesus. He said, then Joseph, her husband, that is after Mary uh, carried that baby, when she became pregnant of the Holy Ghost and told Joseph, Joseph, her husband, being a just man, was not willing to put her in public example. He concealed that thing because he, he knew that uh, if the people should know, they may stone her. But look at it this way. In this modern day, this modern day, you see uh, a man that wants to marry someone and he, he has not even gone far. When the lady say, I don't think I, I'm interested in the relationship, some will go and carry acid and pour it upon that woman. What kind of love is that? I see genuine love in this place. Whatever had happened, I still love you enough to protect you. That's what this place is saying. I love you enough to protect you so he didn't want to make the thing open. So he decided that he would let her go privately. Just like that, conceal it from the eyes of the people. So the pregnancy, they knew that Mary and Joseph were together. So they would have just thought that whatever was in her was by Joseph and no problem in that. But Joseph knew that, how will I explain this? Okay, I don't understand, but bad as it may, there's one thing that is sure. I have the responsibility to protect you. The love, my love for you has not diminished. So now that things have gone this way, though I cannot really, really come to time with that pregnancy, I'm going to protect you so that they won't stone you. So you will see why God chose Joseph to be the father of Jesus here on earth. There are a lot of holy assignments, the assignment that God has for several people. But are we in position to run that assignment? 
It's not just anybody, anyhow, that can take over some great things. Look at, see, I love talking about David so much because so much to learn from this guy. So much to learn. When Saul failed, God chose David. But he had to pass some tests, which he passed. When Saul was after David, wanted to kill David, David would not lay hands on Saul, despite the fact that he had the opportunity severally. He went through the training and became that king that got so much love. So you see that our character is very key when we are talking about being used of God. The kind of character we exhibit, we decide whether we're able to fulfill destiny or not. <laughs> when I read the story of Samson, Anytime. You just pity that man. Before he was born, the angel spoke to the parents. So he was not somebody that was just giving back to like every other person. There was an assignment for him to fulfill. It was to come and deliver his people. But he came with that same power that God had put on him to be able to perform the assignment. However, he lacked character. The, your character, your attitude to life is something God will not tamper with. You are to develop it by yourself. As we grow, you see some things that will show forth. Uh, I preach a message sometimes, I say, kill it before it kills you. You see that this habit is wrong. It will not help me to fulfill destiny. Then you deal with it. If you are a liar, you deal with it. If you are a drunkard, you, you walk out and get out of it. If you sleep around, you talk to yourself. This will destroy you. You deal with it. If you are the type that is selfish, all you know is self, 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 you deal with it. You can't reach the top with that kind of character. So you have to look at yourself. Something loves strange women. And we're not listening to the, to the parents. So at the end of the day, the person who was to deliver his people, the enemy, got him, removed his eyes. He became blind. They were using him for sport. He put his head on the lap of a harlot and he scraped his head. You see, there are a lot of assignments for God's people, but can he choose you to carry out a holy assignment? So all of us must, you know, you work on yourself so that you will be worthy. He may need you to lead a group or lead a nation. The number of people that profess to be Christian, they get into politics and with the help of God, maybe they won't. And the moment they get there, they forget that God. Maybe you are, asked, you are sent there to bring about a change, to reform, to help the people. But that self, 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 self will spring forth and you just be like every other person. That is not it. I saw this story of Samson and it pains me that he had to die with, with his enemy. You won't die with your enemies in Jesus' name. But coming back to Joseph, was a wonderful man. Somebody that can be trusted. We will see tomorrow how he even kept himself after hearing from God. So we must live the life that will make God trust us enough to send us on holy assignment. The people are suffering here and there, whether company, whether nations, whether village, or it can position you to be the one that will be the arrowhead to bring about a change there. But when you are positioned, in that position, what, what kind of character or attitude are you going to exhibit? We need to ask ourselves all those questions. Even as ministers of the gospel, as general overseer, when God endure you with power for signs and wonders, what do you do with it? These are questions that we must answer always. Are we going to merchandise the anointing? 
Are we going to arrogate power to ourselves and put ourselves in a position God has not put us in? And we become Lord or God to the people? No. No. Are we going to use our anointing to destroy life? If you do this one, I'll curse you. I will tell you I'm a man of God. No. Jesus did not show us that kind of lifestyle. So I believe God will help us. We will be like Joseph. I will be like Mary. Hallelujah. God will be able to uh, trust us with holy assignment. In Jesus' name, amen.